What's up everybody? So we filmed a 1979 Pontiac Trans Am and one person asked if we could please film the Volkswagen that was sitting next to it. So with no further ado, let's take a look at the 1975 Volkswagen Beetle convertible. Stay with us. All right, everybody, so there is the Volkswagen Beetle. You know, I probably wasn't gonna film this vehicle just because I'm trying to find unique vehicles to get on camera. And it's not that the Volkswagen Beetle isn't a unique vehicle, but they're just so common. You know, people see them all the time. I mean, Volkswagen Beetles are still on the road currently today. I mean, tons of people drive them. If you can go to any town or any city where you live at here in the United States or even overseas, usually you can spot a Volkswagen Bug or Beetle cruising around town any given day of the week. I mean, they're great cars, first off, and um, you know, they're fun to drive, they're cool. Some people call them punch buggies, but anyways, let's take a look at this car, see what's going on with it, and uh, it is a 1975. And I'm sure there's somebody out there that probably would love to have this little car and, and redo it up and uh, really just make it kind of special. But it's got this little bug <laughs> right on there. But it's really cool. I mean, take a look. The headlights on the little Beetle are in great shape. And, um, you know, this is definitely a car that, uh, that definitely could be redone over and fixed up. I actually was surprised to see the convertible top on it looks great. I mean, wow. That thing is in great shape very clean and uh, the top looks almost brand new on it so it's a really cute little car the Volkswagen Beetle you know I've been around these so much over the past few years I mean working at the low country Volkswagen dealership and working for Stokes Volkswagen um, got to do so many events with Volkswagens it was crazy I mean we were in Volkswagen Beetles it seems like throughout the entire summer and um, we got to hang out with the Volkswagen Club and all that kind of thing so you know that's another thing too with Volkswagens everybody is you know when you buy a bug or a beetle or any kind of Volkswagen it seems like you're a part of a, a niche or a kind of a family of, uh, of vehicles you know anybody that owns another bug is gonna wave at you going down the road and uh, maybe ask some questions and anytime you pull up everybody's like man I remember my pops had one of those or my mom had one of those back in the day just such a cool car but anyways this one's pretty cool not too bad um, the wheels on it look pretty cool you know not too bad kind of a polished aluminum rim on there tires are in still good shape and uh, the body's actually in pretty good shape on this little car so anyways not too much more to see on it you know realistically I mean I guess we can try to look at the interior on the car but it's backed in back back here so a little tough to see the rear of it but I mean the back the back bumper back there is in great shape obviously as many of y'all know the engine is right back here and again, the top's in great shape. The Volkswagen logo on the back looks good. And um, this little car's in pretty good condition here. I bet it probably still runs. Um, uh, we'll take a quick look at the inside of it. I mean, it's in beautiful shape on the inside of this car. The seats, it is a stick shift, but look at the steering wheel, the dash. It's all really, really nice. I mean, it even has an AM FM radio in there. So that's actually, that car's in pretty good shape. I think it probably could use a paint job, but um, not bad, you know? 1975 Beetle. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section about the old school bug, beetle, whatever you want to call it. Did you own one of these? Did your parents own one? Do you own one now? And if so, share a little input with us in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel. Have a good one. We'll see you soon.